Hello, my name is Snorf, and in this video, I will be rounding up all of the latest Wii U news. Um, in this video, I will be talking about UCraft, I will be talking about Splatoon and Zelda for the Wii U. So, if any of those games do interest you, then make sure you stick around. But the first piece of news that I will be covering in this video is Hyrule Warriors related. And we've got our first details of what will be included within the second DLC pack, which is called the Twilight Princess pack for Hyrule Warriors. So Ayanuma on Miiverse has said that Midnight from The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess will be a playable character in the second DLC pack for Hyrule Warriors which will be released on the 27th of November worldwide. Um, Ayanuma revealed the news via Miiverse and said that Midna will retain her look from the end of Twilight Princess. Obviously, Midna is already in the game, but the Midna that is already in the game is the cursed version from Twilight Princess, and the one that will be coming for DLC um, is the one that can be seen at the end of the game. Anyway, this is what Aonuma had to say on Miiverse. When I was developing Twilight Princess, I thought it was such a waste to let a beautiful princess like her only appear in the ending. Now, Koei Tecmo Games has made my wish to see more of her come true. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Twilight or Twilight Midna's weapon is the Mirror of Twilight which appeared in Twilight Princess. This mirror was destroyed at the end of that game, but it's pretty amazing in Hyrule Warriors. In fact, I can't describe in words what's so amazing about it, so I hope you'll download this DLC pack and see for yourself. In addition to Twilight Midna, the Twilight Princess pack includes new weapons, costumes, and an adventure map. So if you played through the original Twilight Princess game, they should contribute to the fun you have in Hyrule Warriors. For one of the costumes, you can dress Link up as a certain familiar character from the Zelda series. It may make you say wow, so hope you'll look forward to the second DLC pack for Hyrule Warriors. Um, so yeah, basically the second DLC pack will include the version of Midna from the end of Twilight Princess as a DLC character. It will include new costumes, including a new costume for Link, and it will include new weapons and a new adventure map as well. Basically the same sort of content we got from the first DLC pack. Um, so the next piece of news that I will be covering on this channel, or within this video, is Ucraft. And so basically, I'm not sure if you guys know, but Ucraft did have a Kickstarter campaign a few weeks ago now, and its target was 20,000 US dollars, if I'm not mistaken. But the Kickstarter failed miserably. I think it only got about 1,000 or 2,000 US dollars um, in terms of backing. Um, so the other day, um, Nexus Games did announce that Ucraft will no longer be a Wii U exclusive and it will be coming out on all of the other platforms so it will be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox and PC as well and there will be an open beta for Ucraft but I'm not sure if the open beta will be coming out for the Wii U or not I know it will be coming out for the PC but I don't think it will be coming out for the Wii U. So, and my thoughts on it being multi-platform, I really don't understand that decision at all, just because people who have those consoles and want to play a Minecraft-like experience will play Minecraft instead. They're not going to buy a clone. People who play Minecraft aren't just going to jump ship to Ucraft. That is just not going to happen. Um, so basically on Twitter, me and Nexus Games went back and forth and uh, I'm just going to be completely honest and say that this is the last time that I will be covering Ucraft on my channel. Um, I wasn't happy about how Sarke, the um, developer at Nexus Games was to me when I just gave him a few um, constructive points to improve Ucraft and he was a little bit Sarke at me. 
Um, so this is the last time I'm going to be covering Ucraft. I really can't be bothered to deal with this game anymore, um, just because I, I don't like the developer at all. Really don't. Um, so basically, on Twitter, this is what I had to say when Nexus Games announced the fact that um, Ucraft will be going multi-platform. Um, so this is what I had to say. Um, so this game doesn't stand a chance on the other platforms. Big improvements are needed. This game will get easily overshadowed by Minecraft on the other platforms. This is what I had to say about that. He said time will tell. And in response to that I said I hope you turn it around because there is obviously a gap in the market for a Minecraft like experience on the Wii U. That is what people want. And unfortunately, it seems like your game has strayed too far away from what was originally advertised as a Minecraft clone. I think having unique things in the game is brilliant, but I think your game needs a vast improvement, especially in the graphics department. Just my honest opinion. I really do think if you guys give people a Minecraft-like experience for the Wii U, you will do well if the game itself delivers and I said to him best of luck with the game just to be polite and this is what I had to say in response and um, so he said this isn't Minecraft this is Ucraft I feel people who want to play Minecraft will do so on PC Xbox or PS4 this is a different experience well I find that tweet completely contradictory seeing as he basically advertised this game as being Minecraft for the Wii U pretty much and he's now saying that people who want to play Minecraft will play the game on PC, Xbox or PS4 um, so my response to that is what's the point of your game then pretty much but that's not what I said at the time this is what I had to say um, at the time on Twitter I understand that, but Ucraft was originally advertised as a Minecraft clone, and based on how the game looks, Ucraft will get compared to Minecraft, with you like it or not. And basically, he said in response that he thinks Ucraft already surpasses Minecraft in graphics, even in its current state. Well, of course he's going to say that because he's the developer of the game, but in real life, in the real world, Ucraft looks nowhere near as good as Minecraft. It really doesn't. Minecraft is in a totally different league. It's like Minecraft is in the Premier League and you know Ucraft is on the Sunday League. It's nowhere near as good. No way near. It really isn't. This is what I had to say in response to him saying that Ucraft looks better than Minecraft. I said sadly not many other people agree with you judging by the Kickstarter backing and he said which is why we open our doors to a larger demographic so he thinks that the reason why Ucraft's Kickstarter failed was because it was targeted at the Wii U and he thinks that there is a really small audience for Minecraft on the Wii U and he thinks that you will have more chance if he opens up the gates to the other consoles um, so that's not the reason why the game failed on Kickstarter and that is why that this is what I had to say on Twitter I said the reason why the Kickstarter failed isn't because of the smaller demographic it failed because people don't think that at the moment the game is good enough and he didn't really like that at all this is what I had to say in response to that Assuming the Kickstarter community represents the thoughts of the gaming community is not very logical. But in response I said obviously it is. If the gaming community thought your game was good, it would have been backed. And here comes the sarkiness. This is what I had to say in response to that. He said, well you could always show us how it's done. Or you can sit here and critique other people's decisions and projects with opinions you want to pass off as facts and this is what I had to say in response I'm just giving you constructive criticism like what I've done through various tweets in the past look at the comments you have had not just by me but by other people on your YouTube videos Facebook 
and your website and listen to it. This is what I had to say in response to that. We already take user input. In fact, we have a website dedicated to it. You are late to the party. And this is what I had to say. Not late at all. One of the things people have mentioned a lot is the graphics. Some have mentioned me support as well. I like quite a lot of the things you're doing, like voice chat, 16 players online and quests. But I'm not going to sit here and say that the game is perfect when it isn't. Of course the game will not be perfect when it is only in alpha. I just hope some improvements will be made. That is all what I have to say to you. Um, so yeah, I thought I may as well read out our Twitter conversation um, on this video just to um, see what you guys have to say about um, some of the stuff that, we've, that we that um, we talked about on Twitter. Um, it seems like to me that this guy doesn't really accept constructive criticism. I could just have said to him, oh, the game is shit. Oh, and, you know, the reason why you didn't get any backing on Kickstarter is because the game is shit. Whereas I actually, I think I gave him some constructive criticism. I said to him, you know, listen to the feedback that you got on your videos. And if you did do that, then one of the things that has been talked about a lot is the graphics of the game. It's not like I completely slagged off the game either. I did praise the game on certain aspects. Um, but like what I said on Twitter, I'm not going to say that the game is perfect when it clearly isn't. There is definitely a lot of room for improvement, but I don't think the game will ever improve. So yeah, like I said at the start, this is going to be the last time that I am going to be covering Ucraft on my channel, just because I'm not really interested in the game. Um, so yeah, I may as well give you my final thoughts on Ucraft, seeing as I'm not going to be talking about it again on my channel. Um, so... For me, Ucraft, I was originally interested in the game just because when it first got announced, um, Nexus Games said that this game is a Minecraft clone for the Wii U. And of course, I was interested just because I really want to play a Minecraft-like experience on the Wii U. But for me, Ucraft, it has strayed way too far away from Minecraft. And it's just, it doesn't really interest me anymore. And my interest for the game has completely gone. And I think this game will flop on the other systems as well. And I can't see this game doing that well at all on the Wii U either. On to some Splatoon news now. And um, the team behind Splatoon have gone on Twitter to release some more details about the game. And this is what those details are. So the hero suit is worn by the protagonist in hero mode. This has a different feel from regular clothes. It is designed to resemble a firefly squid. The charge gun in multiplayer allows you to hit somebody at distance. The roller weapon is useful in close range combat. You can use sub weapons by tapping the R button. One of those weapons is the splash bomb which you should be seeing on screen now and the splash bomb explodes shooting ink over the immediate area. This can also be used for distracting enemies or exposing hidden ones as well. We got our first look at the gamepad controls for Splatoon as well. So ZL will turn your inkling character into a squid. Basically your character will dive into the ink which will restore your ink levels. The L stick will allow you to move your character. The R button will make you use the bomb which will use 70% of your ink. ZR is ink shot which uses up your ink levels. R stick will make you um, look left or right depending if you move the stick left or right. X is to jump. Y is to reset your camera and you can use your gyro to aim as well. And the last piece of news that I have to cover within this video is that Zelda Wii U's graphics have improved since it was first revealed at E3. Now it looks more amazing than what was shown at E3. That is what Ayanuma had to say. Um, so yeah, that is basically all I have to say within this video. Leave me your thoughts about all the stuff that I have talked about within this video in the comment section below. But until next time, I'm out of here for now. 
Goodbye.